Next, click on your RPF sequence, and then in effect, go to 3D, 3D fog. This will turn everything white. We need to adjust the start and end depth. So the start depth will be something like negative uh, 20. In the end depth, we are going to move all the way to the back of this composition. So uh, at least for this uh, particular one, we're going to set this at negative 2700. And then we're going to reduce the uh, fog opacity down somewhere around the 40s range. And then we'll make this a skyish kind of color as well. And this is going to lighten up your image as it gets further back kinda of like in real life next turn on your shot one material luminance and we're going to change this a little bit we're gonna we're gonna set the color mode to classic color dodge and then we're going to take the opacity and knock it down to about fifty some percent sixty some percent whichever looks best for you Add a box blur filter and set your box blur radius to 1. We don't want it to blur too much. And as you can see, turning it on and off, what a drastic difference that Loom channel, uh, Luma channel actually makes. So um, in this shot, I have some trees up on the top of this uh, mountain ridge. And uh, I'll be honest, guys, I completely failed on this. Um, a lot of fudging, a lot of kind of fixing errors that I made it didn't come out the way I kind of wanted it to with my uh, external compositing tag so I'm gonna just skip that part uh, it's not gonna affect your oceanic water tutorial um, but I have covered external compositing tags before in other uh, tutorials um, so if you want to learn more about that check those there but let's just move ahead and uh, again sorry about that guys I, I expected this one to be a little smoother as uh, I had done more but yeah the uh, tree thing did not come out the way I expected it to so uh, let's just skip ahead so let's go to layer new solid and we're going to create a lens flare so turn this solid black call it flare click OK and then in your effects go to lens and add your lens flare in We'll set the lens type to a uh, 35, no 105 works, and set the mode to add. Then go to Tritone, and we are going to use Tritone to change the color of the lens flare. Um, for the midtone, uh, we are going to use kind of a yellowish type of color. Perfect. And let's go ahead and click on lens flare and we will move the center of the flare all the way uh, above the actual shot. So it's kind of like you can see the sun but it's not in frame. Then we're going to go to layer new adjustment layer. And for this adjustment layer we are going to add in a curves adjustment. And with this curves adjustment, we are going to lower the lows, increase the highs, and we're basically just going to boost some of the color in this scene. Then we'll go to each of the channels. We'll boost up the blues. We'll boost up the greens. Um, we'll uh, pull down the reds a little bit and uh, it should give us a really uh, nice image overall uh, finally select your background skies uh, the blue is really not popping out on this uh, so we're gonna go to the background skies add a curves adjustment to it and we are going to select, uh, bring the intensity of the sky down a little bit so the blue sticks out a little more. And we'll even go into the blue channel and pop that a little bit as well. So after the curves color adjustments, um, you really this is pretty much what we got left so uh, uh, 
at least for me, I truly believe that we accomplished exactly what we set out to do, which was create oceanic water texture. And here you go, guys. I mean, this is it in the flesh. Uh, no mistakes about it uh, from start to finish. All right, people, that was the oceanic water tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned some cool techniques. I received quite a few requests, so I do intend on getting to each and every one of them. So keep your suggestions coming. Also, stay in touch by shooting your suggestions via email to my contact page, and also follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash renderready, or on Facebook at this address, or on YouTube at this address as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you find a great formula for realistic water, email me and send me your file, and I'm going to put them together into one compilation so everyone could see all the different water types, the settings, and who created them. I think it'll be a really a lot of fun to see all the different types of water that you guys come up with. So in closing, this is Al from RenderReady.com, and thank you again for your time.